Welcome to all. This is E. Adela from Department of Food Service Management and Dietetics, Kaveri College for Women, Autonomous, Trichy, Tamil Nadu. Today's session is Nutritional Management of Nephritis. In this section, we will discuss definition, causes, types, symptoms, complications and dietary management of nephritis. Nephritis, nephrosis, end-stage renal diseases are the types of kidney diseases. Let's we start with the session, Nutritional Management of Nephritis. Next, introduction about the nephritis. As a human being, we have a pair of bead-shaped organ kidney which are located in the posterior part of the abdomen. Their function is to form urine and to pass urine to the ureters and bladder for excretion. In each kidney has 1 million nephrons. The nephrons is described as functional unit of the kidney. Some inflammation and Infection occur in nephron leads to nephritis. Nephritis refers to the inflammatory disease of the nephrons due to infection, degenerative processes or vascular diseases. Infections also affect the capillaries of the glomeruli. This disorder is termed as glomerulonephritis. The normal range of glomerular filtration rate is 125 ml per minute. Below this level is occur in nephritis. Coming to the types of nephritis, one is acute, another one is chronic. Acute nephritis occur when the kidneys suddenly become inflamed. Chronic nephritis develops silently over several years and can lead to kidney failure. Under the category of acute nephritis are interstitial nephritis, pyelonephritis, glomerulonephritis. Interstitial nephritis is the space between the kidney tubules become inflamed. And pyelonephritis is inflammation of the kidney due to bacterial infections through ureters. Glomerulonephritis is inflammation occur in the glomeruli. It's coming to the causes, streptococcal infection, bacterial endocarditis, disorders triggered by viruses like HIV, hepatitis, etc. Lupus, which is the skin infection, heart and blood vessels disorders like pyeloarthritis, high blood pressure, diabetic nephropathy. Move on to the symptoms, fever, hypertension, Palpitation and irregular heartbeat, hematuria, edema. Fever is increased level of body temperature above 98.4 degree degree Fahrenheit or 37 degrees centigrade. Hypertension, increased level of blood pressure and palpitation and irregular heartbeats. Hematuria, which is blood in urine. Edema. Accumulation of fluids in the tissues called as edema. Move on to the complications. Acute kidney failure, chronic kidney disease, high blood pressure, nephrotic syndrome are the complications of nephritis. The solution of the complication is one thing is dialysis. One is hemodialysis, another one is peritoneal dialysis. Prevention, treatment of streptococcal infections, control of high blood pressure and control of blood sugar which should be prevent diabetic nephropathy. Coming to the nutritional management of nephritis, the nutrients or calories, protein, sodium, minerals are important. The high energy diet is recommended to spare the protein for tissue repair. Adult 30 to 40 kilocalorie and uh, children 100 kilocalorie per kg dry body weight is recommended. 
protein should be restricted 0.5 to 0.6 gram protein per kg is uh, enough because the blood urea nitrogen level is increased high biological value proteins such as milk and milk products a white meat should be recommended uh, which reduce the blood urea nitrogen level in blood coming to the carbohydrates liberal intake of carbohydrate is important for protein sparing action simple sugars and jellies are example of carbohydrates fats uh, fat reduce the bulk of the diet and makes the diet more palatable coming to the sodium the sodium restricted to 500-2000 mg per day with recovery the intake may be increased the sodium restriction is dependent on the degree of aliquria coming to potassium in case of aliquria renal clearance of potassium is impaired resulting in hyperkalemia so that is increased level of potassium in blood in the initial stages we can reduce uh, 1200 to 1500 mg per day is uh, recommended. In addition of fruit juices and tender coconut water should be avoided. Fluid intake 500 to 700 ml per day plus the volume of urine output in previous 24 hours. Uh, without aliguria, the fluid intake may be the normal level. Thank you. I hope you understand the nutritional management of nephritis. Thank you.